As we saw those harrowing images of Afghans at the airport in Kabul, desperate to flee their country, it was a reminder of just how many people are at risk with the Taliban now back in power. That, of course, includes Afghans who worked for the United States government, as well as family members of those who have gone against the Taliban, like the family of Nilofur Rahmani, who was the first female fixed-wing pilot in the Afghan Air Force and sought asylum here in the United States in 2018 after receiving threats from the Taliban. I last spoke with her three days ago, on Friday night, when Kabul was still in the hands of the Afghan government. Tonight, Kabul is in the hands of the Taliban, and her family is deeply worried about their safety. Nilofar Rahmani joins me now. Thank you so much for coming back on the show, Nilofar. How is your family doing tonight? Have you been able to be in contact with them? Are they safe? Uh, thank you for having me, and thank you, everyone, for their support. Um, let me start by saying how many Afghans in Afghanistan are terrified. Every Afghan people are terrified with this situation. And we all see in the pictures that it's published in the social media that every Afghans are, they lived under that situation, under the law of Taliban, under the regime. They prefer to die and not live under that. And I hear recently everybody talks about how Afghans should have defend themselves. I absolutely agree with that. But the problem is that Afghan president abandoned Afghan people and Afghan soldiers alone themselves with no logistic, with no air support. It's hard for them to defend the country, defend themselves. Civilian, they cannot defend themselves. And including those, my family is part of that. And of course, Taliban are going to destroy every symbol of freedom for women that America brought. And of course, I am one of the victims for them. And I am in deeply concerned for my family's life um, there as well. And you mentioned the images on social media coming out today. What was your reaction today when you saw those Afghans running al alongside a U.S. military plane clinging onto it? That's how desperate they are to get out of the country. I can't express my feeling. It has been a terrible time for me, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I love my people. I love my country. But I don't like what I see. Because those Afghans, as I mentioned, they are ready to be die that way, just flee and go and just live that life, but not live under the Taliban's law. Because 20 years ago, they lived and they know how it looks like. They are already going door to doors. They're looking for the peoples that they work with foreigners, looking for the pilots, looking for their families, looking for the interpreters. It's terrible to see that situation. Afghanistan fall in Kabul in one day. And it's really, really scary to even look and see. As an Afghan woman, I am actually so scared for all the women in Afghanistan. And I wish, and yes. I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart, that I wish I could help them. One last question, Neela. For as we watch the Afghan security forces collapse virtually in front of our eyes, a lot of people across this country want to know, what happened? Did those forces collapse? You were part of the Afghan military for a time. Did they collapse because they didn't want to fight for a corrupt government in Kabul? Or was it simply they weren't capable of fighting the Taliban? I can say both. Afghan government, first, president of a country, leader of a country, that should be the last person leaving the country. That person left and then abandoned the country. The soldiers, the army, those, they are all they're not motivated. Plus, they don't have the equipments. And just as I mentioned, the army, they cannot defend themselves just by going in fighting. So airstrike, logistic, this was all part of it. And I would like to mention one more last thing that as an Afghan woman, I would like for President Biden to hear me, the government, that please save the families that they need you, the woman the little girls that they always look up and to the United States, the great army that United States um, brought to Afghanistan. And also, please save my family. And the world right now watching, please, how would you feel? How would you sleep if you would see in the TV that the Taliban are taking eight, 10, nine years old girls and their slaves? And they're taking them away from their families. And I just ask everybody yes. to pray for them and please help them. Neela for Rahmani, I cannot imagine what you must be going through tonight. We appreciate you taking time out to speak with us. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.